Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's look is a very simple summer look and it's a bare eyelid with a little bit of color and then a bright pop of color on the bottom eyelid. Um, today I used the BH Day and Night palette. Um, I absolutely love this palette. I featured this in my June favorites. Um, another way that you can get this look is using Wet n Wild, um, Blue Hat Me Out, Hello and Comfort Zone. You can use some of these colors in both palettes to achieve the same look at a cheaper price. It has been a really highly requested video so I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks! So the first thing I did is prime my eye and all I did was take a concealer, any concealer would work, and I applied it on my eye and then blended it out with my finger. Next I'm going to be taking my BH Day and Night palette and I'm going to be taking this beautiful golden shimmer color on a blending brush and applying that directly in my crease. Now I'm not doing anything special, I'm just slopping it on there. Make sure you stay in the crease though. You can go above the crease, just try to keep your eyelid bare. Next, I'm going to be taking this beautiful dark rose color on a pencil brush and I'm applying that right in the crease. Again, you can go above the crease, just try to stay off your eyelid. And I'm kind of bringing it in a V motion. Next, I'm going to be taking the same blending brush we used for the gold color and just blending that out. All I'm doing is reapplying the red color, making sure that the crease is a little bit of a cut crease. Next, I'm taking a clean blending brush and blending out all the harsh edges. Next, I'm applying the gold color again again applying it in the crease next I'm going to be taking the new Maybelline fit me shine free foundation and this is in a stick form and it has the foundation on the outside with a little bit of gel on the inside and my color is in buff beige 130 and I'm just going to be applying that directly on my face from the stick and this foundation is new like I said um, I've only used it a couple times so I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I mean, it is a nice coverage, but um, yeah, like I said, I'm just not too sure of it right now. I just got it a week ago, so I've been slowly using it. And it says on the website to blend it out with your fingers, but I'm not really a finger person, so I just buffed it out with my stippling brush. And this is the Real Technique stippling brush. Next, I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl Olay, and I'm going to be applying that directly under my eyes and blending that out with my finger. Next I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm applying that a little bit on my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin and I'm going to be blending that with my Beauty Blender. I absolutely love this concealer. I think it just brightens up everything and it's just amazing coverage and I just absolutely love it. And the next thing I'm going to do is um, put powder on the concealer. Again, a little bit on my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin. I didn't show it in this video just because I do it every single video. So the next thing I'm going to do is start my under eye area. And again, I'm taking the BH Day and Night palette. And this is on a flat shader brush, taking that beautiful blue color and applying that all over the bottom lid. And I am going to be taking it on my wing.
And here you can apply as much color as you want because we are going to be blending out, so just pile on the color. And I love this look, especially for blue eyes, because it definitely pops out your blue color of your eyes. It's just absolutely amazing. You can do this with any color, green, purple, just a little bit of pop of color is just, it makes the look all pull together. Next I'm going to be taking a pencil brush and blending that blue color all out. Just making sure there are no harsh lines. Again, dragging it up onto your wing or under your wing. And in case you guys are wondering, I did do my eyeliner and my eyelashes. I didn't film it this time because I am planning on doing in an eyeliner and eyelash video. Because that has been very high re highly requested from you guys. So I am going to be doing that. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a lighter color blue on the same brush. And I'm just popping that right in the center of my eyelid and again just blending it out very very lightly because you do want that little bit of color to pop out from the rest. Next I'm going to be taking my Rimmel bronzer, my very favorite bronzer and this is in Sunlight 021 and I'm going to be contouring. I'm going to be taking that on the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead, on my jawline and a little bit on my neck. Also, the eyelashes that I am wearing are new. They are Fergie, the Fergie collection by Wet n Wild, and they are called Tees, and oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. Um, this is the first time I wore them in this video, and I love them. They're so pretty. Now all I'm doing here is tight lining and lining my waterline, and this is just using the Almay black eyeliner. Any black eyeliner would work. Now I'm taking my favorite mascara and this is the Maybelline Great Lash and I'm just going to be applying that on my bottom lashes. You do want to put mascara on your bottom lashes in this look even though sometimes um, I know some people don't like putting mascara on their bottom lashes but just because we are using bright colors you want to make sure your eyelashes stand out because they will be covered with eyeshadow. So putting mascara really makes this look more put together. Now I'm taking my new Mega Glow 346 Strike a Pose and I'm going to be using this as a blush. Um, I absolutely love this blush. Like I said in my haul video, I really, really like the other Mega Glow that I have and I use that as um, a highlighter. And I found this one, it's a little bit deeper shades and I just absolutely love this with the bronzer. And there's just so many colors and I mean there's a couple matte colors and then there's a couple shimmer colors and when you swirl them all together it just reminds me of the Milani blushes so I just absolutely love it. Next I'm going to be taking my favorite highlighter at the moment and it's the uh, Fergie collection again uh, by Wet n Wild and I'm going to be taking this as my highlighter and they have two different kinds they have a golden one and then they have this pink one and I just absolutely love this pink one I use it everywhere as you can see I'm using it above my or on my cheekbones just above my blush I'm using it above my eyebrows I'm using it on my chin down my nose and I'm going to be taking it on a small brush applying that on the inner corners of my eye as well as under my eyebrow and I just love this. It has such a pretty, pretty pink glow and it's just gorgeous. Next I'm taking my Wet n Wild 903C lipstick, just peachy, and this I believe is a 99 cent lipstick and if you guys don't have any Wet n Wild lipsticks, this is definitely one to go get. Now it can be a little bit drying, so you can use a chapstick or like um, a Maybelline lipstick over the top but i just absolutely love this color thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you